Of all the stars and planets and other heavenly bodies, there is one which is the most important to us. Without it, life on Earth would be impossible. It is the source of all our energy, the sun. That's why coal and oil are called fossil fuels. 
all fossil fuels are really forms of stored up solar energy. Now that it's summer and already hot inside our house, we wondered what color we should paint the roof to keep it cool, and which color we should paint it next winter to keep it warm. So we got some thermometers and taped them down on the roof. Then we painted each of the tapes a different color. Which color do you think will get hot? And which ones will stay cool? I think the light will get hot. But it's really going to be hot. I think the yellow will get hot. I think the black is going to get really hot. If you guess that the dark colors absorb more of the sun's energy and get hot, you were right. On the other hand, the light colors reflect the sunlight and stay cool. After our experiment, we painted the roof white to help keep our house cool this summer. It was not exactly an accident when we discovered that the water in the hose, which had been lying in the sun, was hot. It gave us the idea to make a hot water shower for our house. We just coiled the black hose on the roof. The hose, like the black tape thermometer, absorbs the sun's energy, and the water inside it gets warm. We found out that there are full-sized houses which are heated by the sun in the same way. Black metal, solar panels, on the roof, get hot when the sun shines. The panels are covered by glass, which helps trap the heat. Water is heated as it runs over the metal panels and is stored in a tank under the floor. The tank of hot water heats the rocks, which, in turn, heat the air inside the house. So this house can get much of its heat even in winter, from the solar panels. Electricity is another form of energy which comes from the sun. When the sun shines on a solar cell, a special compound produces electricity. The electricity travels through the wires to light a flashlight bulb. So the solar cell makes electrical power directly from the sun. Someday, houses everywhere might get their electricity directly from the sun. But right now, solar cells are too expensive. And of course, they don't work at night. But we hooked up a battery to make our light work after dark. The solar cell charges the battery all day while the sun shines, and the battery lights the bulb after the sun goes down. The battery is another form of stored solar energy. In real houses, we use electricity which comes from the sun in another way. The generators which produce it work much like this toy engine. The engine runs on steam, which is made by boiling water in a tank. To heat and boil the water, we burn fuel pellets. The pellets are made from fossil fuels, which, as we said before, are forms of stored solar energy. Fuel heats the water to produce steam. The steam makes the engine run. A belt connects the engine to a tiny electrical generator. When the generator spins, it makes electricity to light a bulb.
day, there's a lot of discussion about using fossil fuels for energy. It took many millions of years for the Earth to make the oil, gas, and coal. And if we're not careful, we'll burn them all up in just a couple of hundred years. Also, when the fossil fuels burn, they can cause the air pollution, which is now a problem all over the world. The answer is finding better ways to use the sun's amazing energy. Okay, here it's time to come in. Hello, let's go to the